Hello booktube! Okay, um, I'm back. I'm three days late, as usual. I should just say that I put out my videos on Mondays instead of Fridays, and then I'd be on time. Uh, I've recently been to the doctor, um, found out that I've got tendonitis in my right arm especially, and maybe a little bit forming in my left arm as well, which is terribly, terribly annoying, but I'd have it has made me come to the conclusion that I will not be finishing NaNoWriMo or basically doing anything fun um, or anything that involves my hands anyway for a while and definitely not November um, so I've still managed to read the book Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven even though I've had trouble actually holding up the universe? No, holding up the book. Um, I've had to sit myself in strange positions with balancing my le book on my leg quite close to my face because also my eyes are bad, so <laughs> that's fun. And Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. It's really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I know I say that about a lot of books that I read, but I honestly really do enjoy a lot of books. So the really cool thing about this book is the diversity in the characters, I guess. The two main characters, um, it, it's a romantic young adult book and the, the young girl, Libby. So Libby used to be the world's fattest teen and she had to get cut out of her house and this story follows her and Jack. And the cool thing about Jack is that he has this facial recognition problem, which I can't actually pronounce properly. I'll give it a go. I know it says it in the beginning of the book. Propengenesia? Propengenesia? Propengolgenesia? I'm not sure. But um, what that means is that he can't recognize people. So he walks into a room, any room, it could be full of his entire, like, class at school or his family. He could walk into his mum's bedroom and not know if that's his mum. And that is explored really well throughout this novel and is something I've never really... I mean I've heard of it vaguely but I've never known anything about it and it was just so cool to hear that sort of... I guess that expression of that person's life was really good to understand and it really makes you realise how different different people are and what they can be hiding and how well they manage their lives uh, is, is so often overlooked that people might be suffering their own problems. It's a really cute, lovely novel and I had a lot of fun reading it and I think it was written spectacularly and I actually just went out and got the other book by the same author, Jennifer Niven's other book called um, Bright Places, All the Bright Places. Um, so I'm going to read that too because I really enjoyed her writing style. It just read really, f it flows really well and it's from both perspectives. I enjoyed the insight into how they were thinking because they obviously think quite differently and the thing that it kind of brought home to me was that everybody thinks differently and there is no normal and even though you might think you're strange or different or weird, you probably are and that's okay. <laughs> like, it's good to have these these differences, these quirks, and even though Jack has, I hope his name is Jack, I'm pretty sure, has a neurological disorder where he can't recognize people, he copes with it, and he finds defining characteristics of the people he knows and loves. So he will remember that he his little brother is a gawky sort of kid with big ears and he will remember um, a defining character, say your hair or your freckles or your big nose or something <laughs> um, and he will piece together through memory more than recognition who you are. And just having that experience was really cool to read. Um, it's like exploring somebody else's mind, somebody's mind who works so different to my own and that was really, really cool. So I'm going away, but I'm still going to read my books. I just might be late to upload, but you're used to that, so I will see you when I see you, but I will definitely get through all the books um, and review them and have hopefully a video up for each. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the future. Alright, how do you turn this thing off?